So today we'll be looking at the Litchi app again and we'll be looking at the Pano or the Pano 360 Auto, which I think is amazing because there's quite a few things on there that you can do with it. Anyway, quite simple. So I got my DJI Mini 2 today. I got my RC M1 controller. I've got my iOS phone, which is my Mini 12. Let's get that drone up. We go into the Litchi app. Now, the drone's on, yep. Yeah. Okay. There's the Litchi app. It's straight in, GPS, everything's ready, which is the main thing. So we do auto takeoff, guys, which is in the middle left. Just confirm it. Well, I'm going to send this drone up to about 300 feet. So, because we want to be nice and high, because we're going to be doing a tiny planet with this 360. So I'll just send the drone up. It's a lovely evening. I must say, I don't think there's a cloud in the sky tonight. The sun's just starting to go down, so we should get some uh, good pictures. We're still climbing up. Still climbing. Coming to, coming there nearly. There we are, just 300 foot near enough. So all we got to do, guys, FPV at the top left. Tap on that. We scroll down to the pano so the first thing we do guys is go into settings which is the over to the left the bottom where it's got like a little sprocket which is that one there okay we're not going to do any delays um, because that just wastes time save the pano database now this is the most important one because you want to save this and see what that picture looks like so you say yes so there, there are the settings done we, now, if you notice on the left-hand side of your screen at the top, it's like a globe. You just press that. You see it there, auto pano, auto pano, automatic. Opt you see, you ain't got even right about the settings, guys. Uh, and you just say, yes, okay. And it's already doing it for you. Now, if you wanted to stop that, guys, you can. If you notice, there's a little red square there on the left-hand side. You can just tap on that. Now, the settings at the bottom, if you didn't want to do the auto pano, if you just want to do, I don't know, 180 or um, even a 360, you can do it yourself. But to me, I think this is much better. Um, obviously, for those professional people who like doing it in manual, you can do that. But I'm not going to be showing you that, guys. I'm not, a, I'm pretty happy with the things that these um, apps can do really but yeah if you wanted to go down the road of uh, doing it manual changing all the settings you can do that it, but it don't forget guys it does take the power out of battery now I'm just checking the battery now I've got it 88% I mean we've got we got plenty it's telling you how many photographs it's taking anyway it's only going to take 22 photographs okay coming in for its last one it's done that it's all been done virtually. Now, the drone. now, I've been told that while this is downloading, you can bring that drone back in to save even more power. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the drone back in. Because what's the point of having the drone up there while, it, while it's downloading? Now, it, obviously, you can... Um, I mean, I'm just going to bring the drone in. I'm always happy. I'm not happy with the drone flying about up there when I'm sort of explaining things. So I'm just getting this drone back in. Okay, so I landed it on the car mat. I'm not too bothered. I'm going to leave the drone on, but we're not using any energy. Now, if you go into your uh, the folder there, okay. Now I didn't want. I did do one previously this morning. It all went pants. I. I got home after doing that this morning, and for some reason, I deleted it off me um, the drone footage I'm on about. I deleted the drone footage off. Anyway, so this is 
The one you can see now is it tells you when it was taken at 1745, ready to view. So we just tap on that now. Um, and there it is. It's obviously I've got it in low quality at the moment. Um, and if I want a tiny planet, we could do that. And I think that's it. And if you notice, it's turning as well. That looks pretty impressive, I must say. Now, if I wanted to, right, download required the photos onto your drone storage. Would be, like to do that now. I said, okay, yes, we can do that now. <coughs> so it's actually downloading it onto my uh, card now. Now, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, the other thing is, I will show you in a moment. Whilst just doing that. I haven't done it on high, just done it on medium. Obviously, most people would do it on high, so it's going to take a little bit longer to process, obviously. The other thing I want to show you is view the 360, because you can actually move it on the screen. So we're just going to do that now. Just coming up. Okay, so that, that's onto my card. It's just stitching that together now. It's all ready to view, so we just click on it now. There it is, flat. The one thing I wanted to show you, I'll just do the tiny planet again. There's the process of it. You can make it smaller or bigger. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty good. F viewing it in 360 is even better. I can just turn that around. Look at that, eh? Up and down. There's, there's the car. Up in the sky there amazing and he's just clicked it out so you go back to come out of it you just press the top left close that's it and that's it simple as that and if you want to come out of it press the pano fpv and you're back to fpv ready for the next time Right, one of the things I didn't show you while I was outside is uh, you want to download those images to your computer or share it on social networks. If you tap the folder, now I've done one previously, but I'll tap this one. So this is on your Panorama database. You just tap on there. Now at the moment we've got a flat screen. Uh, and if I want to view that in 360, press on that it loads it up so you could if you wanted to was use your uh, 3d goggles uh, and it gives you that sort of visual virtual reality look and uh, if you want to stop that you just back it come back in um, okay tiny planet so with the tiny planet as you can see there it's already moving around but if you wanted the photograph of that all we got to do, guys, is tap on the share button at the top there. Doesn't take that long to process. Now, don't forget, I'm doing this indoors at the moment. Now, I want to share it onto my computer. I'll just do that. And it's already sent it. So, just as simple as that, guys. Obviously, the quality, you can have it low, medium, or high. Um, so, hopefully that's given you some idea just come out of it so hope you found that useful um if you've got any comments please add them below like i said this is only a 360 auto pano um you can do it yourself you know manually it takes a lot longer i'm not into all that sort of stuff if you want that sort of stuff guys there's plenty of videos out there but if you've got any tips please add them below that's what it's all about anyway if you enjoyed that vid this video give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. And as always, Joy, just enjoy flying your drone. Have a fantastic day, guys. I'm off for a dog walk. <laughs>